Hello. It's not even their fault. How good is this? Game of Thrones. Welcome to Dallas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Do you feel bigger? Taller. Yep. <laughs> first thing is first when you come to Dallas or any city that has it really is you have to go to Velvet Taco. Later tonight we are going for a rooftop movie night, which is gonna be interesting. Then you're left in the dust unless I stuck by you. You're the so this is the red curry queso here, black chips, Mexicali shrimp taco, chicken waffles taco. Guacamole, chips, slow cooked Angus brisket, chicken and waffles. How is it? Mm. Mm. The red velvet taco cake. Probably the best red velvet cake in the world. So full. <laughs> I didn't need to eat that much. <laughs> it's a few hours later after we binged some Velvet Taco. We are about to head to a rooftop movie viewing thing. The movie we're going to be watching is Fall Guy, starring Ryan Gosling and I believe Emily Blunt. All you have to tell me is Emily Blunt is in the movie. I'll watch the movie. We are on the way to the rooftop. We are in Fort Worth. We're just looking for the entrance of yeah. this place. Downtown Fort Worth is actually pretty nice. Definitely more of like a smaller city downtown vibe. As the ultimate film experience has arrived. Rooftop cinema. Oh, it's so um, aesthetic. A lot of Instagram photos can be taken here. They definitely made it. It's, it gives me a millennial vibe. Yeah. Millennial goes to the movies vibe. Yeah. way better than expected. It was a lot better than expected. I will say one caveat was that the headphones were too big for my head so the top <laughs> wasn't resting on my head and so the headphones were resting on my ears and they hurt so bad right now. Overall the experience is great and that's the only thing that was subpar. Yeah. But that's not even their fault it's just because I have a small head I guess. What would you rate it out of 10? I, I give it a 10. I'll give it a 9 because of the headphones. Because of the headphones. <laughs> but realistically, it could have been a 10 experience. Yeah. So if you're in Fort Worth, you or should... Or any... They have it in different places. Oh, yeah, they yeah. do. You should look up if they have it in your city, because if they do, you should definitely go try it out. Hello, hello, hello. It is next day around 6 p.m. And we are on our way to go on the Katy Trail, which is a long 3.5-mile trail in Dallas. It's very popular. It weaves through different neighborhoods. And then after that, we're going to go get some deep... Alum sushi from a place called Deep Sushi. This is like some high quality trail. It has, what, what do you call this kind of ground? I don't exactly know, but it's like a track. So it's very nice on the knees and it's not harsh. That is some um, taxpayer's money put to good use. our walk it was a really nice walk it's really nice to see other people walking and jogging because it's very inspirational and motivational too everyone was so fit now we're gonna go get some of those calories back with some sushi established 1873 apparently damn if you're in dallas and you like that hipster vibe you want some bars you want some really good food you might want to try out deep ellum and it's just nice to walk around and see cool stuff Hello. like right here as Canadians, the luxuries of coming to America is plastic straws and not paper straws that fizz into your drink. So we're getting the ahi tower, dragon balls, spicy crab nachos, and then honeymoons. Kind of want to try stuff that you don't really find in other restaurants versus just getting sushi 
that you can find anywhere, so all the appetizers are good. $3 frozen margarita. <gasps> yes. I want a frozen margarita. <laughs> Cheers. There you go. <laughs> So I'm gonna reach over really quick. How good does this look? We killed that. We ate that in like a total of two minutes. Let me scoot this out the way. That's gonna be the spicy crab dragon balls for you. Amazing. And sorry, I'm gonna scoot this over here. Oh wow. Oh, right there. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. How good does this look? It's so unique looking too, right? It's yeah. just stuff you can't get everywhere you go. The presentation is. Uh, the presentation is impeccable. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a fan of ginger, but I'm gonna have some ginger because apparently it cleanses your palate, especially at like a sushi restaurant where you're having a lot of different flavors. Ginger is the key. Overall experience. Make a trip to this place and try the apps. They have great apps here. Shout out to Tozo for hooking me up with their new HT2 noise canceling headphones. Perfect timing for my Dallas trip and we all know we like to have a good set of noise canceling headphones, especially on a plane ride. They come in really cool colors, so there's a vibe for everyone. If you're into crisp sound and serious noise canceling, definitely check them out. I've got a link in the description box below if you want to grab a pair. Hello, hello, it's the next day after our binge fest at the sushi restaurant. Deep sushi is just up. Today is Friday. I am officially done with work and it's the long weekend, which I'm so excited about. We'll see how the day goes. Many hours later. Came to the mall to go shopping. Instead, we're going for a test drive with a tub. It's funny because it's slightly higher than the Model 3, which is what you drive, but you don't feel like you're squatting and doing freaking squats to get into the car. Yeah, because with my car, it's like you're getting down to the ground. It's like you're sitting the on, the ground, on the ground. Uh, I love the vehicle, but this one is just more convenient with getting in and out. You don't have to get swifty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to sit on the floor. Shit on the floor. Time to get swifty in here. How's it feel I'm so, so far? Excited. It's so fun. I want to drive through the neighborhoods. I feel like I'm living in Dallas, living my dream, and driving my Model Y. Let's see, let's see! <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, so excited. It sees all of this. This is more than two human eyes can see, that's for sure. And look, it even sees the next intersection. Not the one we're at, the next one, it sees the cars driving through it. Look at that ceiling between all glass. It's so beautiful. The car is just driving by itself right now, look at it. You don't have to have your hand on the wheel. No? It's so scary, especially when you're doing it in a city that you're not used to driving in. It makes it that much more scarier. I use it on every drive that I do. So I'm used to using it and I trust it almost completely. Of course, you have to supervise it still at this point, but it is so good. <laughs> your, your breath is shaking just with breathing. That was scary. I'm stopped. I'm going to do like a full acceleration. Three, two, one. Oh my God. In 500 feet. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. A few moments later. It's been a couple hours. Now we're on our way to Hawker's Asian Street Foods. It's gonna slap. It's gonna slap. We are at Deep Alum right now and we're about to go get some dinner. It is busy, it's a Friday night. Hey, good, how are you? Oh. We got some free wings, a We got cut flavored. Pork belly bao buns. This is the CKT. Let's see if it's good today. I give it a 7.5. We have the curry ramen. Six and a half for me. Hello, hello, hello. It's a new day. And we are currently on the way to my sister's house. It's a building that is also a hotel, so they have a lot of amenities and a lot going on, especially on weekends. About to have some fun on a Saturday night. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Hello! Hey, Ooh, like your outfit! Yes. The views from this place will never not wow me. This is the gym. If I have this gym, I won't go to anywhere else. Yeah. 
Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Wait, it's okay, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't right. This is where we watched the Super Bowl. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's true. So we do every month. We do. We have free breakfast. Ooh. Oh, I like the ceilings, the butterflies. That's this cool. This is my favorite room. So you can get drinks and food yeah. as well. Oh, that's cool. Really cool. It's like a resort. Oh, this is pretty. Valentine's Day changes. Oh, like, it's like themed. Ooh, I yeah. like this elephant. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay. So I'm this focused. is where we do our monthly residential events. Mmm. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, this is a nice view of the pool. That opens up. This opens up. Oh, it's open right now. Yeah. Now they always say congratulations. Actually, everybody's meal looks great. Yeah. Yeah, it's a whole yeah. Ooh, new hair. Who this? This is like a jump scare when I see my hair like this because I'm used to being bigger. Right now, I'm at my sister's house. We're about to get my lashes done for the. We're doing that engagement photo shoot today. People do like their nails, like press ons by themselves and mm -hmm. everything. I do mine by myself too. Yeah, I wish. Maybe I'll take it out, off after the. We'll see. I maybe if I get used to it, I'll leave it on. You will know. You you. It take you wearing it. Too. To get used to it. <laughs> it's very fast on me. Ooh, yeah, that's like precisely mm -hmm. exactly what I wanted. Mm -hmm. I hope this doesn't make me want to start being a lash girl. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I just don't want the headache. <laughs> I'm a lash girl though, but I'm happy because I don't have to do it for myself. Before I used to go to some people who don't want to do it for me. Yeah, so I, nah, when I, I know. figured it out, I'm like, do it yourself. I can do any style I want mm -hmm. by myself. So this is the eye that has lashes on and the little shit, no lashes. Look how much of a difference it makes. My lashes are fully done now. These are it. That's nice. Very, very nice. Ooh. Looks like I already have eyeliner on. Mm -hmm. We are ready. This neck line is high. Hey, free. Oh, sorry, it's a high low. That says on a boy dress. Luke's look. Looking very cleaned up. Looking like a Hugo Boss model. Three, two, one, test shot, okay? <laughs> Look, make her, make her blush, come on. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Is that is a wrap on the shoot. It was a fun time. Tiring as hell, but the photos look so good and they haven't even been edited yet So I'm excited to see what they turn out like when it's actually edited. Did you have fun? Yeah, especially at the beginning at the end. I got a bit tired. Yeah, the end. Oof. It we're gonna over be it. All worth it. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it for sure and we're happy we did it. Hello! This is a different day. It's 1.38 p.m. And we are currently on the way to Meow Wolf, which is something that we've been wanting to do since we got here. Meow Wolf is more immersive Kind of like a museum that is very, very interactive, I guess you can say. Let's see. Don't tell me to shut up when you know you talk too much. But you don't got shit to say. I want you out of my head. I want you out of my bedroom tonight. There's no way I can say. really interesting experience you feel like there's just too much to even show on camera so you just kind of have to pick and choose whatever because it's so overwhelming and so overstimulating I'm no good at goodbyes. Yeah, it was. <laughs>
So we just finished up Meow Wolf. It was fun at the beginning, but after a while of being in there, we were in there for like an hour and a half, you can get kind of nauseous. That seemed like a one and done thing for us. What do you, what do you think? I agree. Yeah. We're gonna get some food. We're gonna go to the Dallas Farmer's Market. And then we're gonna also try to go to Clyde Warren Park because we haven't been yet and it's right in the middle of downtown. So we're gonna hit that up. Are in the farmer's market looking for food, but we're, we're trying to see everything they have first to the side. At Clyde Warren Park, and then they have a bunch of food trucks here as well, so you can get some food if you're hungry. Walk along the park. The park isn't that huge; it's kind of a block or two blocks, three blocks, but he can definitely do rounds or something. She told me that I'm not enough, and she left me with a broken heart. $35 worth of ice cream we just got when you're ordering, and the person that is placing the order is laughing. <laughs> that is degeneracy right there. Are you not embarrassed? Because <laughs> this is very embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. This is the physical embodiment of gluttony. Got cookies and cream. We got pistachio and almond at the bottom. We got the cookie monster at the bottom. Pistachio almond at the top. Bunch of freaking Oreo and caramel drizzle on each. Psych, this video is actually not a vlog, it's a mukbang. It's a mukbang? <laughs> this whole vlog is just us eating, by the way. Mm. Mm. Pistachio is great. The end of degeneracy. For me personally, it didn't feel like that much. I don't know if it's because I didn't, I didn't really eat my waffle. I just kind of ate the scoops of ice cream. That was as bad as it looked. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this hour of degeneracy. This is our last full day in Dallas and well, no, his last full day in Dallas. We are currently on our way to activate Plano, which is pretty much an in-person gaming experience. It has like a bunch of technology, a bunch of missions and games that you have to complete. This is probably the one thing I'm most excited for. We saw it a long time ago and we're finally doing it. This is our wristbands that we get. And then we scan it, I guess. And then we start. Fill it in our information. What player name should I give myself? Ultraviolet. It sounds futuristic, right? Good or too good? Yeah, it's good. Two bangs. So we're locker. Hey. Mm. Let's see what place yourself. Memorize the location of all color tiles. Cross the room while stepping on all the blue tiles. Oh. Game starts in three, two, ah! one, go. Get to the other green zone in 25 seconds. Oh, shit. Go, go get it. <laughs> the placement and pattern of each blue target. Nice! <laughs> Holy shit. That was very fun like that i had my expectations that surpassed it it's yeah, a it was, workout it's a total work like i'm sweating right now i forgot to do this but i was gonna put a workout on my apple watch to see how many calories i, oh, no! I should have done that yeah you should have i don't know but it was i like, know we did though oh, we were yeah. sweating of movement. we were throwing we were climbing walls we were running around <laughs> oh my god it's one of those that you'll come back and do yeah at each station they have like four or five games yeah each and station... that's just we just did the cooperative ones and yeah. there's the competitive ones yeah. against each other we didn't do uh, any competitive yeah we did it and that's so we true. could come back like 10 times and not mm -hmm. play all the games and then even when you play all the games you still want to beat your high score so yeah. there's incentive for you to want to come back i feel like in the future this is going to be more of what people do instead of going to the gym and like lifting weights I and think running so on a treadmill. They had a leaderboard there too, and we ended yeah. up being um, like fourth 
fourth and fifth we tied. Should have, like, we should have got a, a, a yeah, shot of that. We were tied for yeah. fourth on the leaderboard. We killed that um, rock climbing game, though. Yeah, we did. Because I, like, I rock climb a lot. Well, I used to. You have done it a few times, I think. Mm -hmm. So usually, I feel like when people will probably hold on to one and then just use their other hand. But we were like, <laughs> we were using our feet. <laughs> so that was that was really cool. Can you tell we're excited? I know. <laughs> <laughs> We started our journey here, so it's only right that we end our journey here. He's about to catch his flight in less than two hours, so we wanted to have one last tour before you go back home. Yum! What did you get? Oh, the chili shrimp. And then he got the queso blanco, we're gonna try it for the first time. And then I got the same one we got last time, which is the red curry coconut queso. Try this. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye! Yeah. Okay. Well, bye! I thought you were just gonna say bye leave <laughs> Officially back home, Luke has vacated the premises and is on the plane back to Canada. One more day in Dallas. This was pretty much the end of the vlog. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, click on the screen for some other vlogs that I've made in the Hamptons and New York and Toronto. There's a whole vlog playlist, so check it out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.